Splitting Hairs Free Salon Education Podcast starts now. Featuring right Matt Beck, Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, Dre Boland, Trey. Thaddeus Boland, and Daniel Downs. Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to Splitting Hairs, the free salon education.com podcast. I got Drea Boland. Hey, hey. Daniel Downs. Hi. <laughs> Brian Hare. Hello. Thaddeus Boland. What's up? Christina Cavalcanti. Hi. And we're here to talk about some hair. All right. <laughs> it All took right. us 20 minutes to get here, but we're here and we're going to talk. No, hair. it took us 33 minutes. We were on time, we promise. Oh, it's 33 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> it was live stream's fault. Okay, so uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We definitely had some live streaming problems, but we're online now and we're excited for all of you guys that hung in there. We're going to talk hair. We got a lot of subjects to talk about. We're going to talk about a kid who was banned from his school wearing a certain haircut. Also, we, uh, Drea and Danielle worked all day in the salon to um, style mannequin heads with different wands. Yeah. Right? So mm-hmm. we're going to show you guys those different styles, what the different wands create, which I think will be really fun and interesting. Also, um, you guys hashtagged uh, Free Salon Education on Instagram, so we're going to share some of those photos. And Pivot Point created some new male mannequin heads, which... Mm-hmm. I think Dad's going to be obsessed with. Love that. <laughs> um, so we're going to share with you guys those mannequins as well. Big announcement. Minerva Beauty is our sponsor of the show. Mm-hmm. We love those guys. They are the best furniture salon company uh, on the internet for sure. They're based in Atlanta. We're going to be in Atlanta. We've decided just as of 15 minutes ago <laughs> that we're all going. Um, maybe Thad. We're not sure, so don't buy your ticket yet until you know Thad's coming. <laughs> but May 20th through the 22nd um, is an event called the Data Driven Salon Summit. So if you go to datadrivensalonsummit.com, you can get all the information, but we are all going to be there, um, which will be really fun. We're going to be at this big party that Minerva is throwing. They got food trucks and like tons of, I mean, it's unbelievable the things that they're doing at the Minerva now headquarters. Now coming. Yeah. <laughs> you should have started with food trucks and yeah. then gone from there. We're going, so food, we're going to a party with food I trucks. Actually, there's, a, there's a food truck destination in Atlanta. And, and, Would you and like to And come? there's a hair show like so also there. This is it. Food trucks, booze, waffle ice cream, fire swallowers, I you, cigar rollers, what? and He's much, going. much more. So Done. that's, that's okay. going to be on the 21st that evening. So we'll all be in Atlanta that night. I'm going to be at the Cosmoprof show in Nashville doing my classes until Monday afternoon. Then I'm going to fly straight to the party um, at Minerva and meet you guys there. So it's going to be really fun. Do you think that there's a truck that has fried chicken so that we can have fried chicken and waffles? Uh, maybe that. I don't know. <laughs> that maybe you should. Amazing. I don't know. Are you coming? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if my belly can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. A nice little pouch there. I can win. I will win, though. Um <laughs> So is this a food eating contest? But let's talk about. So where the, do they go? Do they get tickets? Like what? Like go to datadrivensalonsummit.com. dot com. Um, it's basically, I think it's a, a modern salon dot com event, I believe. Mm. Sweet. Um, but it's basically a, there's a ton of companies sponsoring. There's going to be a lot of super um, knowledgeable people there. Yeah. They're, other than the party, get into yeah. some of the stuff though. Yeah, for sure. So it's. Um, a peer-driven, hands-on experience. They bring together some of the top salon owners and managers, all committed to success in a facilitated and structured environment where they can better learn how to put their data and salon technology to work. So it's a business-type seminar. I think those are the most important thing in the industry because it's the least looked-at thing in the industry. Um, let's see. Zizor is going to be there. We actually use Zizor for a second in the salon. I actually still have an account with them, but... <laughs> They um they of course he does. He probably has like three and they're charging us. No. <laughs> well, I did I did a little bit. So I met them at the Millennium Conference uh with Zizor, but I actually I like looking up the um the data on a printout. Like I like, I like looking word. at the sheets. But Zizor is a an uh, iPhone app where you can look at numbers and um like average ticket, the things that we look at, you can look at it directly on your phone. Cool. Um but with Mevo you'll be able to do that anyways. Uh, salon today will be there. They're going to announce salon of the year there. So there's just a ton of stuff going on. Um, and, and that's it. Yeah. So we hope to see you guys. It looks like if you go to the website. Oh wait, never mind. 
there's early bird pricing until yeah for two April more days. 27th. Yeah, yeah, so you have two more days for early bird pricing. Yeah. So if you're near so the no Atlanta pressure. area and you would like to, we would like to hang out with you. So it'd be really cool if you could make it to the event. Um, go to datadrivensalonsummit.com. Yeah. Word. Yeah. Okay, so um, next on the list. So we're going to give away a Minerva blow dryer today. I actually want to show you guys a video that they made um, based on their blow dryer. Um, should we play that video now? Yep. Yeah. Take a look at it. Roll into it. All right, so let's roll into that video. Do I have it up there? Yeah. Sorry. What's not happening? I think you're good. That's it. Yep. All right, so here's the video of Minerva's blow dryer so you guys can all see what you're winning today. The music's really quiet, so we can talk about it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, all right. So I know you guys have used the blow dryer as well. There's yeah. no talking in the video. Um, plus, if this is on iTunes, we want iTunes people to enjoy it as well. We'll give you a play-by-play. -play. Right. So um, they do show, which I, I'm really excited about, the... the um, the hair tornado. The hair tornado. Yes. I still have it. Whoa. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that was crazy. Well, one of these days, you just need to pick up some hair off the floor and just let it get sucked up into the back of the thing so yeah. you get your hair tornado. I, I have yet to be able to have it come out. No. No. Well, I, I, mean, I look every single day. Yeah. The Wait, you've been trying? Yeah. yeah. You put she hair in it and then pull it out? No, no, she checks to see if there is any hair. Oh, uh, Dre is doing all the time. I think that was at, like like based off of this video. It looks like it's more like if hair like gets pulled into there, it's not going to get stuck. It's just going. Yeah, I think that's the whole point. You can just yank it right back out. It collects it up in there. But so, it's not like a filter. It's it is still a well, it's a filter. It is a filter, but it it silo like silos it in. Yeah. Right. So um, so that's the blow dryer. We're giving that away today to one of you lucky people watching live. Um, also, the phone lines will be open. Thad, can you do that Bluetooth thing again? That's one thing that we didn't do. Um, so, so who's getting, is someone who calls in getting a blow dryer? Somebody that calls Ooh. in will get the blow dryer. That'll happen later in the show. We'll let you know when we're ready to do that. Um, let's see. Connecting. All right, Danielle, do you want to go over the story about the kid with the hair and the school and all of that mm. stuff? Okay. Well, this was based in the UK in, I think it's uh, Newport or something like that. Anyway, so there's one school that's banning a specific haircut for boys, and the title is, We're as Confused as You Are. Female students aren't the only ones who have to deal with bizarre dress code rules, like being sent home for wearing leggings or being forced to get their hair and makeup done. Now in at least one corner of the world, boys are being subjected to some weird rules governing their looks, too. According to The Independent, a secondary school for kids ages 12 to 16 in the United Kingdom is banning male students from donning a haircut known as the Meet Me at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Me at McDonald's. <laughs> yes, this is what had me cracking up when I was reading do this. They like, do they prefer Burger King? Or are they Chick-fil-A? Um, honestly, there is no Chick-fil-A that I've ever seen in the UK. Okay, so Wendy's. Hardly ever saw a BK's. So Hardee's? Mickey D's is your only thing. Like, we're not going to go down the list. Hardee's? Come on. Dad, it's obviously McDonald's. Exactly. Well, it's well, all about well, well, that's what I'm asking. Is like, like, did the they school... just want their quarter pounder. Well, no, the school obviously doesn't like McDonald's. So, like, I mean, that's the problem here. Okay. So I I'm wondering unclear. if the school would like it better if they were meeting <laughs> oh at God. Hardee's. Well, this is where I'm going to elaborate for you, Thad. Wait, it's Cassie? unclear from where the name originated. Though it's safe guess, maybe kids in the UK with trendy haircuts like hanging out at Mickey D's. Maybe they're supporting food trucks and they want them to eat at food trucks. I can see it. So this haircut, it is, is it the disconnected? Um, yeah, where it's shaved on the sides. It's just um, basically like the 90s. We don't have a picture of it. It's uh, yeah. it's on the slide, the front slide of the thing. I think it's like a disconnected. It's just mm -hmm. cut. It's, it's like my haircut. Yeah. It's my haircut. Really. No, well, I don't no. have it. My text. I don't have it up yes. here to yeah. show though, do I? <laughs> and it goes forward instead. No, we don't have that. Sorry, sorry everyone. So it's basically like one of the new kids, kind of like that. Which which one was one of the new kids on the block that had the curly little oh, top bro? Danny. Okay, oh. there you go. See, <laughs> you I knew somebody really would know. I was, was it not Danny? Into that. I think you're right. But yeah, so do this. You? No, I do. I actually, yeah. I was a really big fan of them. And well, Jordan and John <laughs> were brothers. They had like the black kind of, you know. What about Joey? Was his Jordan had a little bit of wave was Joey though. Was dope. Joey had the curly hair. Oh, you were Joey, definitely Joey had the curly them. hair. Told you. 
was it the curly I knew curly all the hair? Because yeah. he had the curly hair. He was the young Joey McIntyre. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like his okay. and. The teacher also, well, the principal had also banned about six other different looks. So anything that has a long fringe that's combed forward, a mohawk, or as they put it, a Mohican style. Mohican. Mohican? Yes, Mohican. Okay. Okay. And just anything that's extreme. Why is their principal Kim (laughs) Jong-un? What was the justification of this, though? This principal was brought in because this was like one of the second worst schools that was there. They should just shave their heads. Taking then away? what will happen? I mean, obviously um, the hair was the I problem. I don't know about that. Yeah, the, the, the hair is what causes all the disturbances. Is it Morgan Freeman in that movie? Is that who the mm. principal is? <laughs> Why can't I think of that movie? Lean on me? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> well, <laughs> Brian is half responsible for a school the changing their dress code policy Yeah. based off of hair. Of course. Because I mean, true. you encouraged Yeah, Frank you were to just there that. and you were like, look at my curly hair. Wait, no, everyone is literally talking about different things. Oh, okay, okay what, sorry. What is the story? Well, what they're talking about is when I was in school, um, they tried to impose, it, was a, it wasn't my hair, it was uniform. Oh, no, I was talking about Frank. Oh, that school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that oh, school policy. Yeah. You encouraged him to grow his hair out. That's true. Yeah, uh, he almost didn't graduate because of you. Yeah, <laughs> see, I'm just all about fighting, fighting <laughs> schools. Um. No, my my one client, he was going through high school. He was going to a Catholic school. They were very, I would say they were very strict. They had rules, we'll say, about what the hair could be. And like, it was, they were broad enough that we sort of skirted around it because he wanted to grow his hair out. So we did. It wasn't allowed (laughs) to touch his collar. So we just kept cutting it, like brushing it straight back and then cutting it so it wouldn't touch his collar. And it worked. And uh, he was able to graduate. And now that his cousin is getting ready to start that school and his cousin had grown his hair out as well. And they let him know that they named a clause after his cousin who had just graduated and that now they are much stricter on the rules of hair. There's no room for interpretation. No, not at all. It's when it brushes back, it can't be longer than this. When it brushes forward, it can't be longer than this. To the sides, it can't be. So I'm, I'm... Proud to say that I Brian Hare, the killer of loopholes. Hey. Okay, yeah. I have lots of pictures of the. Y- well, you I can people, Google. People meet are me asking. Oh, okay, because yeah. some people were asking. Should we post a picture on Instagram of it? Well, we can post a picture on Instagram, but also I'm going to show it to the camera. Oh, okay. See that is the camera on autofocus. Well, it was also crazy because they even Mine. banned the hard part. Oh. Yeah. Poor kids. So I know. So any semblance of style, they can't have it. Got mm. it. It's so cool. Do you want to just hand it to me? <laughs> See if we can get it back up just a little bit. A lot of it. Do you, we know, was this a public or a there private school? Oh, oh, public oh, school. Oh, 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 public oh, oh. school. Okay. <laughs> almost, back up a little almost. more. There it is. That's there perfect. Oh, that's like. He's so cute. <laughs> I mean, he does look like he just woke up, but yeah. whatever. That's so funny that that's like a big deal. Can we do this yeah. to Hayden? Can yeah. we perm him and then do his hair like that? <laughs> I'm not perming oh his hair. I'll do it. No, like, I mean, he's not <laughs> getting no, a perm. His mother. He's not no. If he wanted a perm, if he was like, oh my God, mom, I want a perm. Look, but... it's Donald Trump with the meet me at McDonald's haircut. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's already there. <laughs> I don't know if people can see that. Oh, God. Oh, he's God. so gross. <laughs> All right. So it's super. Uh, so I, I really don't understand. I'm not a I'm not a fan of like telling people not to be not to wear whatever they want to wear. I really think if you don't make a big deal about it, it's not a big deal. Um, I remember when I was in sixth grade, I listened to Warren G all the time and Regulator. um, regulators. <laughs> sixth grade, going to the bus, I had my hat on backwards. You still do. <laughs> Got on the bus, and the bus driver was like, "Nope, you better <laughs> turn that hat around." And Are you kidding? And you know who it was? It was That's Adam. Crazy. It was Adam, my friend Adam's yeah. grandmother. <laughs> wow. I'll never like forget. Like what? I just no don't, special I don't understand that. Jerk. Me and my wow. friend, we had our Walkman. We would listen to Warren G. It was great. And a hat backwards. But that's the thing. Like people just. <laughs> when I had a Walkman in sixth grade, I was listening to Weird Al. Okay. <laughs> that was my jam. <laughs> I'm good. not surprised by that. <laughs> that's good. Alapalooza. Nice. What was in your Walkman, Drea? Uh, Spice Girls. Did you have a Walkman? I did. Oh, when wow. I first started. I didn't think you would. I had the yellow one. <laughs> I had a Walkman. And then, um, yeah. Spice Girls? Spice Girls. That's what, okay. that was what I wanted. Danielle, what was in yours? And Tina Turner. I had Nenna Cherry. 
Yeah, Buffalo Dang. Yeah. Get it. I don't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Dang know it. That one. Of course I'd be the one that would ruin his streak. No, I want I want to hear it though. We'll Spotify it later. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um it. All right, cool. So so there you go. There's the news there. Don't wear that haircut. Yeah. You go to school mm. at that school. <laughs> just drop out. Yeah. Exactly. No, I'm just kidding. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> Cool. So, um, all right. Let's see here. Next thing. Onward and upward. Um, Are we hitting the questions or moving past them? Let's move past those questions because uh, I don't think we need them. I think we got to know each other pretty well last week. Yeah, yeah I think we're good on that. Let's talk about the mannequin heads. Why don't you guys bring up your presentation? Oh, sure. I feel like we're in like third grade. Let's, guess let's the show people everyone what you did tell. today. Yeah. Do you okay. have slideshows? Oh, I like that one. Oh, do you guys have the irons that you use yeah. too? Oh, cool. Oh, this is great. So what Danielle about and I were talking about how Give we were names. about the cone-shaped irons and how what looks you can create from each of the different uh, specialty irons that we had laying around the salon. So we had just did it this morning. We're like, let's just do a bunch of mannequins. And I didn't know that this was with a purpose. I thought that you guys were literally just that bored. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think it started out that way. Yeah. We actually, I, I well, I wanted. I was like, well, what are we gonna do with this? I just want to say that I actually was telling Christina this earlier as well. But I felt today was such a great salon day. I just really felt like, ever like all day we were just like doing stuff, even though like nothing was like supposed to be done. I walk in the room and you guys are curling every mannequin that we own just to see what they do. You know, just differences everybody was pretty busy in the salon as well today so it's just really it was a really cool day so i'm excited to see your presentation because this is literally what they were doing all day this wasn't for the show we didn't have the um it wasn't there was no purpose behind it um but they just went through and started using different wands and seeing what the different curl patterns were and then i just figured it would be interesting for you guys to see it out there because who wants to take all this time in a normal day to do it all by yourself and just curl it up. So take it away. All right. Danielle, do you want to start? Um, sure. Okay. So my favorite is this nice little purple one here that Brian's playing with. So that one is with the Paul Mitchell extra small little pin iron. So it's my favorite because one of the first shows that I got to be involved in, I actually gave a Korean girl an afro using that technique. So once you separate the curls themselves, it just expands it, makes Here, it I'll huge. I'll do that, like Brian's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Exactly. I asked Danielle to do it to my hair, and she said no. Um, Can I Only throw in there something else that this is? Wait, can we give Drea an afro for the next show? Yeah, I would love this. Can but you imagine? I don't know that she would actually walk out in public. She'd probably make me like yeah, she'd put wet a it and ponytail. I would I wear it. Yeah. No, I'd go out afterwards. Yeah, Christina, your hair would look great with this. <laughs> Wait, can I just tell you something that like practical? Because I don't know how many people you're going to want to spend four hours doing an afro on. <laughs> One thing that I do really use this iron for when I have uh, any kind of formal hair, and they're like, "Oh, I just want that like textured kind of look," but they have zero texture to their hair. I will take their hairline around their face and use this iron and do like these itsy bitsy little curls all forward. And then when they cool, as you pull it back, it gives you that textured, like kind of something Appearance. going on, yeah. so that when they wear a little it bit of a ripple back off their head, ripple. it's got some texture to it. A ripple. So it looks yeah. like it's a full head of curls, but it's yeah. really like right. Cool. Or at least like it's that. something more than just like that super slick. My up just yeah. roughs it up a little point. bit. Danielle, I remember. Yeah. I I really do remember that hair show when you wrapped that girl's mm -hmm. hair that way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that that took a long time, and I think she had hair down to, like, the middle of her back or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was fun. But also, yeah. I like this because for n my natural hair, sometimes my coils, they're not exactly even all the time, so it's good to just right. give it a little wrap around that. Okay. Just to revamp. No, I've used it on um my client, Lori, after I have diffused her. I've gone in with mm -hmm. that. One and this one. Just to touch it up a bit. Just to touch it up a little bit. Like, just because, I mean, she has some pieces that are a little bit more loved than others, and we want to get that little extra balance back into it. Or they're just doing a weird thing and curling in the wrong direction, so we could fix that. Cool. Yeah. All right. Next one. 
well, we'll just go down with this one. Yeah. I'm gonna keep Which doing this. I would normally, I it's the um, super small um, cone. And I like it because it gives a nice lift at the root. I wouldn't necessarily do this on somebody who has straight hair. But once again, like when um, I diffuse someone and they just need that little extra definition in there is when I like to go in and really pop it up. What do we really that. love about the cone shape? Because the cone shape was always confusing to me in a way that like... So first, before you move on, I'm sorry. The yeah. first iron, can you just say the size and what iron it is? Because p- some people are asking. I'm sorry. Oh, so it's, it's the Paul Mitchell extra small iron. Okay. It's like so a little fatter than a pencil. Yeah, I'm going to say yeah. it's like quarter of an inch. Yeah, okay. I think yeah. it was the .25. Okay. Was the yeah. thing. Well, I thought it went extra small. Then they had... The regular one inch large, and then XL is one and a half. It's pinky size. What I'm saying is pinky. <laughs> that's that's but tinier yeah. than all of our pinkies. It's your pinky Not bone. Mine. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you have man hands. No, I was saying I thought it was point. Ion. I thought it was point two five inches was the size of that. Uh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I do believe that. Is and then Drea, yours is the cone. This is the cone, and it's probably. We didn't just take these out of the box, so that's why we're not really a hundred percent sure on the sizes. It's been used. Yeah, it's, it's been I, a while. Yeah, it probably yeah, goes yeah. from like. Well, it gets kind of skinny, like the other one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I love about the it's not an inch. That's it's not sure, an inch. So why don't you show that girl in the picture? What I, I like take. about the cone shapes is the irregularity that you yeah. get, like real curls. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like, and with that one, I just took triangle sections. and That's good. Yeah, because you just, you don't want anything too perfect with it. But it gives nice definition. Um, I strive for imperfection every day. <laughs> Nailed it. Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Got it. Got it. And All right. Then this one, I just alternated the curls with the larger rod. Larger oh, cone. One. Okay. Larger cone rod. And you can see how it's much more relaxed at the top, at the, ro- at the root, and it just goes to little twists and flips towards the end. Uh, so that's fun. On my latest video, so when Ryan was here, I don't know mm-hmm. if I talked about this on this show, but... Um, when Let's do it again. When Ryan was here, he, he used um, a wand mm-hmm. iron. He didn't use a cone shape, but... He held the iron like this, and so everything he did, he worked off of, so that he held it like he was drawing with a pencil, right? Mm -hmm. And he took the hair, and he would wrap everything down and around like this, Mm -hmm. as opposed to having your hand like this and your elbow way up in the air and trying to work everything down. He just kind of shifted his hand and worked everything through like that, and I thought that was a really cool tip um, to do. So on my last video, I did the same thing, and I did it on the whole head, and it worked out really well. Um, I'm, again, I'm not really, a, I'm not a, a, a cone shaped person. Like I like using the other one, but that's just I don't think anybody should be like a one. I think it just tool. gives a different shape and a different consistency. I do really and like the the wave that this created. Like for sure. this gives it a much more lived in. It's a softer appearance. It's kind of sort of beachy. Yeah. Um, nothing's too defined with it. And I think Brian, can you hand me that one? I can't really reach it. Uh, thanks. So, but you can definitely see uh, the difference in right. uh, in the curl pattern. So, um, those of you guys that are out there, they're like, you know, which wand should I use? What for what style I'm looking for? This is definitely more of like a naturally curly look. Yeah. This is de- definitely just a very uh, nice beachy wave kind of feel. So, very cool. And also, to me choosing which size that you're using with the cone also Mm -hmm. has to do with the hair texture itself because like say that somebody did want that looser look but they have a finer texture and not a lot of it if i go in with the larger one it's going to fall out like before they even walk out the door exactly so that's where i might go with the smaller one but just take larger sections and maybe not wrap it around as small i'll use the whole length right so that way the curls more spread out Well, and that's the one of the things I do like about this, having the cone shapes, is I wrapped things at different points of it throughout the style. So you can really alternate sizing and whatnot to give that natural curl that Brian was talking about, how it's not regular. Nice. At all. Okay. What's that one, Danielle? So this one, I mean, maybe I shouldn't have used this one because this was just a limited edition 
But okay. there are companies that have ones that are more like this, where it's kind of a marriage of a cone and a rod because it's just a slight taper at the end. Okay. And to me, it, it can does... Can you hold that up? See if people can see it. There you go. And then put this lady on display. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe more the back of her head because she had bangs. That's just... <laughs> that's just <laughs> she was having a moment. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so this one, again, gives that more kind of relaxed curl. But the thing that I like to do with this one is to twist the hair and then wrap it around rather than just flat wrapping mm -hmm. because then you get more of that wavy look. So if I go through and I comb, I get that... Finger wave so kind you of effect literally to it. twist the hair. The, the like you well, take a section and you twist it, and not then wrap it. You know, like really tight or anything. Right. But you know, I might give it like one or two turns and then wrap it around. Okay. Just so that it's not a perfect ribbing curl. It has that natural um, elliptical shape that an actual curl has, where it flattens Love out. That. <laughs> I do that sometimes <laughs> with mine. Like when I'm doing mine, I do that. You do sometimes, yeah. Yeah, because whether you nice. finger comb through it, comb through it, or brush through it, you get a different look. Yeah. So this one, I just finger comb through it. They were all going in the same direction, but yet it expands. So mm -hmm. it does make the hair a little fatter. Okay. Cool. That's hot. Last but not least. Um, this one was very um, uh, not... I don't, hold on. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> this was very precise. It, it's this very was, not. This, this, this was very precise. This was uh, a checkerboard uh, setting of like one inch sections, squares. Okay. Just to go around um, curling everything in the same direction to give it that nice, soft, vintage wave set that um, we saw for so long with the uh, Paul Mitchell Awapui sets. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and it has the limited edition uh, red iron that... Is this the unclipped? The unclipped one. It's. I don't think this that's not unclipped. No. This one's not limited edition anymore. No, the bigger one. This that is one. That kind yeah. of is for sale. I think. Limited. They yeah. brought it. They, they brought it back. Brought it back. They brought yeah. it back by popular demand. Um, it's like a barrel rod. The um, funny thing about this one, though, and I sold it to one of my customers once. It doesn't have a rubber thing on the end no, of it. No, it doesn't. No. So this is like. You're going mm -hmm. in at your own risk. Yeah, with this. you need to use the glove that it burns. comes with. Yeah, but yeah. the result. Mm -hmm. Matt's kind of sick totally of said it. that was the funny part. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think every educator, including myself, when it first came out, we Ooh. all got that same burn. Yeah, right Damn. here. Well, because this is the <laughs> first one that came out. Like yeah. we didn't, ha we'd right. never used one before, and yeah, it, and right. I love it because it's the reverse cone. It's yes. the re yeah. So it's my favorite because it makes sense. It's a little tighter at the base. To me, it makes sense. Tighter at the mm -hmm. base and then a little looser towards the end. So yeah. it gives you, but I mean. Or heat at the root. Right. Yeah. I love this look. And I think a lot of people, like, they talk about, well, what is the difference when you wrap one way and then the other way and then one way the other way? And then when you wrap it all the same direction, that question comes up a lot. Well, this is the difference. So. When you wrap it all consistently the same, you get that nice mm -hmm. wave consistently throughout the head. Everything meshes together, yeah. whereas when yeah. you alternate and use different sectioning, it's going to bounce off of each other and expand. Yeah, it'll give you more of that natural wave look. Before we retire these, I'm not actually just sitting here not paying attention. I was doing this mm -hmm. to prove a point. If you do decide to go through and do something like this on an entire head and you want to create this really big, fun, almost naturally like froish kind of texture uh it's important how you take these curls apart yes. rather than just like because if you just brush this through you just wreck all of the curl pattern and then you just get a frizzed out mess but if you wanted to actually have that really great definition while still having the big texture what you're going to do is you're going to go through and just like you put all of the attention into curling these sections like i have one of these curls right here you're going to start at the base and just peel it apart. Just like string cheese? Um, close, but not from the end. Like you're gonna start at the base and then pull out. Like that how you should open won't... a banana. <laughs> but you guys other... have really weird analogies. <laughs> just do what I'm saying. Um, what is the color <laughs> you're using? <laughs> <laughs> well, that particular one, unfortunately, that was Shine's XG, so that is no more. Oh. Doesn't exist. Yeah. Was it the? It was the Shine's XG. Was it the, the one? V, yeah, mm -hmm. and then it was dual purpose lightener, just balayage through it, just to get that lavender. Somebody was asking. It looks awesome though. The, the curl. 
Well, for me, I like it both ways. Whether you're separating it dry like that and you want that more blown out, exaggerated fro, awesome. If you wanted something that's a little bit more glossy, that's where I would take a serum and then just run that over your hands and in between your fingers so that when you're taking it apart, it's gliding Mm -hmm. over the curls and giving them that glossy definition without the frizz. Okay. I want my hair to look like this. Right. Couldn't you get your hair like, like that? that? Separate it. I don't it. think so. You have to just you have to put the product. I don't know if my curls are tight enough. When your hair was shorter, it did. Just you know, now it's got length. So it's true. It's luxurious now. Now that's hair. me. Now you can do it <laughs> and put it up like your sides up, and it could be like Whitney Houston 1983 yes. album cover. So. Yes. Into it. Guess I what like we're that. doing tonight after the show? That. <laughs> 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 Besides eating, yeah, I'm gonna eat wings and have my hair turn into Whitney. Can I eat wings and do your hair at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, God. instead of getting a serum to pick my curls yeah. apart, you totally it'll just could be because you're the sauce. only person that <laughs> uses a fork when they That's eat true. wings. That's true. That's true. I would be your best bet. <laughs> what? Why are you so dainty? I use a fork when I eat wings. I don't know. I, I use a fork when I eat pizza, like pizza too. Hold it for you well, wait, while you're doing That's how we're taught now. I do understand the pizza thing because you're from. Illinois, like I the pizza no, is super thick. It's not like oh. the it's like deep dish pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, mm-hmm. I, I mean, didn't even use a fork and knife on my Chicago deep dish pizza. That's I, just weird. I don't usually either, but I do. Sometimes. We discussed this at my pizza party the other night. <laughs> yeah, I don't associate with people. Well, I do associate with you. I guess I, I don't respect <laughs> people that use oh. fork and knife on pizza. That's weird. <laughs> I know. I knew it was something. <laughs> I knew it was something. Well, it came up because I was saying how when my family came over here, one of my cousins took another pizza place, and you know we all fold our slice, you know, just go to town on it. And he's like, "Oh, you bloody savages!" <laughs> and he's just knife and fork, ever so daintily, your pinkies mm-hmm. up. And I'm pizza like, is mm-hmm. savage. That's food. the thing, though. Yeah. Matt yeah. doesn't f- knife and fork. He forks it and cuts it with the fork. Uh, he's like savage. What? He's a I savage fork it up. Fork it up. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm picturing you sitting there with a plastic like the, fork, irritating the hell out of me. That's where you just get like, your, um, these extensive, um, what are these called? Popeye Four, arms. Forearm yeah, muscles. What, what are they called? Oh, oh my from, God. From working the fork into the, the pizza. You just hey. mangled the cheese, When the cheese, doctor though. says, what's the extent no, no, of your exercise? I'll, I'll Instagram story it to you one day. Oh, <laughs> it's a perfect uh, cut. Someone's like, you can There's use the fork science. to separate the curls while you're doing it. Yeah. There That's a great idea. Yeah. It's a little mermaid moment. Yeah. I think so, yeah. No, the they hopper. don't want you to use the fork. <laughs> they want you to peel it apart. Yeah, no fork. That was the whole idea. Oh. Okay. But. Do it, everyone. <laughs> you said don't. <laughs> this. Figure it out for yourself. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's give some shout outs to people that use the hashtag free salon education mm-hmm. on Instagram. Um, mm-hmm. because that's great. Appreciate the, um, love. the support, the, um, what is it? The love. The love. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this is on Instagram. If you use the hashtag free salon education, you can get your work shown, um, and featured on this show. So first one is at hair by K Y S A. I don't know what that is. Hey, You're better I, off just just spell it. Yep, K Y S A. <laughs> this one, I really love the transformation. Mm. I know mm. it's hard to see dry out. I got to get a TV screen here or something. Oop. Um, do it. Put but it in yeah, the cart. So this is a good transformation. I mean, look at that haircut. That haircut I looked at, I was like, oh, that like gives me nightmares. I that, did that haircut. That's my client. That's crooked oh. Chris haircut right there. <laughs> um, ouch. So and super fried. That's a, right? No, that is my client. That's French fried. <laughs> Um, oh. so then, that's my hair. uh, so she did a great job. So shout out to her. Um, next one Style's is one great. of our favorite people oh my at, God, that kid's so cute. So cute. at J cash underscore the hair tech. That wouldn't be allowed at that school. No, it wouldn't. It, no. It, it, it's meet me outside or meet me at, at McDonald's and <laughs> meet, uh, me meet me outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's the meet me outside. It's like cash me at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> cash me outside <laughs> McDonald's. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that's uh, so Jason. I don't know if he's on live tonight, but uh, that I want you to learn always, how to do that. He's always on live, so Tad's been working on. I that. I know you're I'm almost there. That. I want yeah. some cur. I want that. Dude, I'm one of my cool. little well, I was yeah. just talking about how when I first met you at the school, you had that Corolla Deville, like half black, half blonde, and your blonde side had the little scroll work. In mm. it. That's what's it up. It did look good on you. 
Thanks. Thought you were talking about Thad. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I never and the met next, him with that. Um, so thanks for tagging Jason. Uh, next one is at Renee underscore Lugo, which I'm guessing uh, L U G O. I can't tell with the lighting. Is that purple or red? It's a. It's like a mahogany color, <laughs> I think. Right, Chris? <laughs> I, it looks violety. Violety. Mm. Yeah, to me, it has like violet. Orangey. Violet. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it looks. It's what I. Violet. It's a CC in my Ooh. in my mm. thought process. Right. Look at you. Like a cool so a copper, cool copper, warm mahogany okay. kind of thing. Um, really nice. Got a lot of nice tones to it. So really good work, Renee. Thanks for tagging Free Salon Education. Thanks so, for the love. So that's a three uh, three looks from that. That's a hat trick right there. That's a hat trick. Nice job, mm-hmm. Thad. Let's get a like phone that. call up in, up in here. Yeah, let's get some phone calls. Um, while get we wait for the phone calls, we'll go over the Pivot Point mannequins. I just want to show them to you guys. Honestly, I have such crushes on all of them. Okay. On Cameron. Things are going to get weird. <laughs> I was about to say that. Um, I don't know their names. Pivot Point. Uh, Cameron I've been Coley. using Pivot Point heads for a very long time. I really love Pivot Point heads. You have to know that I love them because they mm. occasionally will send some, like they did these guys when they have new ones come out. But for the most part, every video that you see a Pivot Point mannequin in, I pay for that mannequin. So I really do love them. Um, and so they did send some of the guys over. And what was exciting is a lot of people have asked... Oh, Jesus. I don't want that one. Um, a lot of people have asked for the Thad mannequin, and this is uh, the Thad mannequin. Do they actually refer to it as the Thad mannequin? Yes, it <laughs> says Thad on the back. They actually did this one after you. Um, really? This is actually Ian. <laughs> oh. So <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? You got a mannequin named after him? <laughs> like, where's Brian mine? Was, Brian was about to get real jealous. I was going to say, I want yeah. a sandwich named no, after him. We have the Brian as well. This is the sandwich. Brian. You can tell because um, the dog hates it. Yeah. <laughs> did you see my post on Instagram? Yes, I yeah. did. So that's how we train our dog to not um, to go after Brian, <laughs> is what this said. That's Cameron. So this is Cameron? That's Cameron. So that's Cameron. This is Ian. And then Cole. Oh, wow, Chris. Good job. And Cole. <laughs> I thought I had a crush on him. She knows all their names. <laughs> no, we oh, went yeah. through it right like, before the hmm. show. Um, so... Uh, Cole has longer hair, <laughs> no beard. Um, Ian has a, a thick beard, so maybe on a beard trim we could do that. Thad, uh, people have been asking. One of the biggest requests for the for the new live classes on Tuesdays was to do a beard trim, so that might be a thing. But Thad also has customers that have beards too, occasionally. So we'll see. I would much rather have a real person, but uh, for practicing, Ian is great. And then Cameron. He has a really long face. Super well, long. I like it. Yeah, they, I think they all kind of do. This guy, you can't tell. But I haven't been looking at the others. Show me what's, what's Keanu you know, Reeves the over one. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that a little is, bit. That is pretty yeah. point break right there, yeah. Ted. That's cool. Surfing changed my life. I think Ted. these are the same. They're thing. basically <laughs> the same face. They're the same honestly. thing. Yeah, one just with a different beard color. And yeah. <laughs> They're almost like And that. then it's his hair on his face. So, so that's that. So if you guys are looking for new mail, so here's the thing I really love about it, and I'm not sure if these these are the ones that Pivot Point did, but they were telling me about mannequins that they were making where they did a more dense um, from parietal down oh. and then a little bit thinner on top. So they put the hair oh, a little closer together. So it's more realistic. So when you go to do fades and different things on the male mannequins, you get a better result because they're not so gappy. This and hairline is plus. Nice. The I way was about that to say, like, it's nice because it's not that harsh hair plug feel. Yeah, it feels nice, right? Yeah. And Pivot Point is one of the one of the major companies that um, the the process that they do to make the mannequins like it, it can get pretty crazy, like uh, disgusting the way that people make mannequins, right? Um, this Pivot Point has the you know the I forget what it's called. Um, Again, this isn't like a sponsored thing or anything. But they they had like uh, I forget what it is, but it's some kind of like standard in making mannequins, um, where Would the you- the facility where they make the mannequins and all of that is up to a certain code, and everybody's getting paid a certain amount. So it's fair trade for it, fair mannequin. trade, basically. Nice. Bad. Thank you. Oh, I love High the sideburns. Five. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
So, um, so these mannequins are really great. They're obviously a little bit more expensive than some cheaper ones you can find on Amazon or whatever, but they're totally worth it in the way that the hair is placed. The hair is placed individually by hand um, in these mannequins. So it's, I it's make it blonde. incredible. It reminds me of my old Scary Spice doll. I would love sure. to do like some highlighting on that or something. Yeah. It would be really cool. And we have it. some female versions of that hair yeah. texture that I would really love to do as well. Um, so I'm I'm excited for these mannequins. I'm actually like scared to cut them because they just came out and I don't even know if they're um, available officially available yet. Is but his beard curly and his hair yeah, straight? Yeah, that's why I yeah. said it's that's like smart. he's got his hair, but then that hair is on his face. But that's yeah. so <laughs> real. That's true. It is. It is real. Yeah, that's what it's like. So it's gonna be really cool to cut that down and see what it's like. Get so it. Hope you guys point. are excited about it. Check out pivotpoint.com. Yeah. Um, we have so many mannequin heads on the floor. <laughs> um, it's creepy as hell in here. Super creepy. Uh, well, it's so, great when you walk into this place and we have the cubby wall we with do. mannequins now. Oh, yeah, there are a couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Meet them at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> that job. All right. So that is girl. that. Stop. So if you guys want to call in, we're going to play the games. We got 833-FSE-LIVE. Um, phone should be going. So give us a call. Let's see. Oh, and Jacob Kahn was going to be on the show tonight. He, uh, I talked to him last week after the show, and I was like, hey, would you want to be on the show? And he's like, yes, super excited, can't wait. And then, um, you know, in normal fashion, the week flew by. Got Tried to get in contact with him this morning to confirm everything. He was busy in the sun. He actually just sent me a message saying that there was a big color correction situation today. And so he would still love to be on the show um, at some point, but he understands that he missed the, the deadline. So Jacob Kahn will be on the show sometime in the near future. Uh, we're also looking for other guests as well. So if there's anybody that you guys would like to see us interview or talk to on the show, let us know. Um, maybe even tag them in, oh, we gotta call her. in a uh, post or something. Tell them they should be on the show. Let's see. I probably have to hit number one. I probably have to do this. Matt. <laughs> Hello? Hi. I was calling in. I'm playing the game. <laughs> All, right. All right. Sounds good. What's your name? Lauren Burnett. L- Lauren, right? You said Lauren. And Lauren, yes. where are you from? Youngstown, Ohio. Okay. And nice. are you, how, do you work in a salon? Yes. I actually own a salon. Oh, awesome. Get okay. it. What's your salon name? Color Whipped Studios. All right, awesome. So work. You have two games you could play. Uh, we're gonna play. You could spin the okay. wheel, or you could win the blow dryer by playing free pong. You could pick somebody to throw that in. Which one would you like to do? Wait, wait. What's the second one? <laughs> the second one is to win a Minerva blow dryer. Um, and yes. we, we, you want to do that one? Yes, I do. Okay. All right. So all you have to do is you either pick Drea. Danielle, Brian, Thad, or Matt to throw the ball. And uh, if we make one of the five balls, you get the blow dryer. Who would you like to pick? Oh, wow. Uh, I know it's tough. Brian? Brian? Oh, yeah. all right. Yeah. Thad, can we okay. get some awesome music Brian, for Brian? Brian? I'm so stressed out. <laughs> all right, let's pump this up for Brian here. There you go. All right, he's you stuck. Okay there? Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it, Brian. <laughs> She's she believes in you. She. I I can win. All right, you Brian is. The right. camera. That's okay, oh, that's... somebody's actually gonna wait for the camera. He's nice. The camera's not up. <laughs> that's just me. Oh, that's weird. Here, Thad, can you uh, step over? <laughs> we don't have the uh, right. above camera for some reason. Here we go. All right, here we go. Brian's, Brian's throwing the first ball. Oh, swing and a miss. Second ball. Nailed it. Oh, there we go. Nice job, Brian. You got a blow dryer. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) Yay. (laughs) All right, well, congratulations. Um, Brian, good job. High five. Congratulations. Um, So, Brian, 
just won you the Minerva Beauty blow dryer. It's one of the most powerful blow dryers. It also creates a hair cone so you can pull your hair out. It's fantastic. Yeah, it yes. is. It's a great blow dryer. Super powerful. I love it. I'm so excited. Awesome. All right. So all you have to do is email Christina. Um, contest at freesaloneducation.com. So it's contest at freesaloneducation.com. Send your address, your phone number, and your name, and just put in the subject Minerva Blow Dryer winner, and uh, Minerva will send that blow dryer out to you. Okay? So it's contest at freeeducation.com. Freesaloneducation.com. Okay, that, I'm sorry. That went out. That's why I'm not going to make sure. Okay, so it's contest at freesaloneducation.com. Got it? Right, okay. All I'm right. Sorry, the phone has run out. Okay. Oh, awesome. no, Thank you. No problem. Congratulations. Thanks so much for Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy and let us know what you think I of it. Will. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right. So, um, awesome. That was fun. <sighs> stressful. I know. You did a great job, Brian. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. It's way less stressful in college. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So next one, uh, we're going to spin the wheel. So if you guys want to spin the wheel, call 833-FSD-LIVE. Also, if you have a question, you can ask that as well. We're Just wrapping things say hi. up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to take one more caller. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Should we talk about who's gonna on be the you? wheel? Yes. Drea, who's on the wheel? Well, we have Mitsutani Scissors, obviously, because that's the best scissor ever. Sunlight's Balayage, Olaplex. At Free Salon Education, Minerva Beauty, because we're powered by Minerva, uh, Donald Scott Razors, and Ergo Brushes. So here's the the secret that I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's right, our right, secret? Right. While we're waiting for the caller. So I'm not going to show you guys anything yet. I'll show you guys later. <laughs> but um, <laughs> not going to show anybody yet because it's not time. But very exciting news. I made what my own the? scissor. What? Oh. Officially. And the prototype. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Love that. <laughs> Love that. The prototype is here. What? Oh. It took a long time. I designed the whole thing. So it's not like any it's other. It's not in the building. It's not in the building. It's in it's the coming. United it's, States. It's in the mail Almost. coming. Yeah. But oh. um, I That's figured really cool. let's let the splitting hairs um, loyal listeners know that it's on its way and it's going to be available in the next month or two um awesome wow. scissor it's completely specked out exactly what i wanted is it a swivel no <laughs> <laughs> exactly what he wanted it's <laughs> exactly what i wanted um it's not it doesn't even say mizutani on it but it was manufactured by mizutani oh, that's cool right. so the packaging is going to be um, your face mine is it my face black? <laughs> is it gold? <laughs> is it, is it no, it's black? A, no, it's very simple. It's a normal looking scissor. The screw um, is stamped with his face. It has, uh, you know, my logo on it, and then the uh, the packaging will be. Re- we're working on the packaging now, so it's going to be really awesome. I can't wait for everybody to see it. That's really cool. We're making That's incredible. A quick, like, limited run of them. So when it is available, if you want one, you got to get it. And what's um, the price point? Uh, I think it's going to be around five hundred. Oh, not bad scissor. at all. Yeah. No, like I try to keep it. With all the things I really wanted with it, um, because like the tang is like extra short, so it's like not super. For weird. your tiny pinky. Yeah, for my <laughs> tiny pinky, and then um, the thumb has like this perfect little groove to put your hand in. What? <laughs> People are excited. Oh yeah! All right, I can't leave, give any leave more a away. little. Christina, something. just you guys are really, really good at subtlety. All you get, <laughs> all you get is what you got. So, um, but it's coming soon. I can't wait to show it to, to everybody. This is like super exciting because obviously I've had a good relationship with Mizutani for a few years now and, um, got to work with them closely to create this thing. So very excited to show everybody, show you guys tonight pictures, yeah, show Secret you squirrel. guys, show you guys soon. I don't have any pictures loaded up, so I can't mm. even make an executive decision to spoil it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so that's coming up. Does anybody want to spin the wheel? I know. Call in, guys. Yeah. Who doesn't want yeah. prizes? I know. I mean, it's free. It is free. It is. And Dre just wants to spin. Do you want to pick somebody on there, Chris, If they even if they don't want to call in? Has anybody been super active on there? Maybe they're shy. Everyone is. Everyone's active? active. Hard to pick, right? Kind of really. Um, that's pretty much it, though. Well, all right. 
I know. Maybe we won't give anything away. Bye. Wow. Um, question of the day, though, is what person would you like to see on this show? What guest? We can do it via webcam. Somebody said Confessions of the Hairstylist. Okay. Um, who actually, uh, she oh. also asked a Pivot Point ship to Australia. As of before, they did not. Well, Pivot Point U.S. So, doesn't, but right. there's Pivot Point in Australia, I believe. Zero. I believe so, to too. I'll say. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Uh, this is Sarah. Sarah, you are live on Splitting Hairs. Yes. <laughs> this is a lifelong goal, I know. <laughs> Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Would you like to win something? Yes, I would. Okay. Well, we're going to spin the wheel for you. Um, it's either going to be a Sunlight's Bolly Box, which Dre said. I'm just going to re- refresh the prizes since it's been a bit. Uh, Sunlight's Bolly <laughs> Sunlight's Bolly Ash Olaplex, Free Salon Education. We got MinervaBeauty.com, Donald Scott Carving Comb, um, Ergo Brushes, Ergo Brushes, Mizutani Scissor. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Sweet. So good luck. Awesome. Let's go. Here it goes. What's it gonna be? It's slowing down. It's slowing down. Good one, Thad. Oh, nice. Olaplex. Olaplex. Who doesn't love Ooh. Olaplex? <laughs> okay. All you have to do is email contest at freesaloneducation.com. Um, you'll be emailing Christina. And just say that you won the Olaplex on the Splitting Hairs podcast. Uh, just give your name, address, and phone number. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You are very welcome. Thank you so much for watching the show and supporting Free Salon Education. What's that? Thanks for you guys. Have a good night. Oh, Thanks, you, too. you too. Thank you. Bye. She sounded psyched. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I keep stepping on my cord. I'm going to like what? smash my own face into this <laughs> microphone accidentally. Please don't. No, please don't do That's that. actually how Especially Smash Mouth got their uh, band name. I mean, I hope not. I have pretty teeth. All right, guys. Anything else? Um, No. Okay. I'm solid. All right, cool. So follow Drea. Hair by Dre Day. Follow Danielle. The Hands Downs. Brian. Hairstyle. H-A-I-R-E style. Thad. Thatitude. Thatitude. And follow us. Everything at Free Salon Education. Thank you guys so much. We love all of you guys to join us live here every Wednesday. Um, it wouldn't be as fun without people chatting it up. People were chatting it up, Chris. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.